Welcome to Shikama Live Share with your host, Ch uh, Shikama. I don't know my name. Here are 10 ways we can realistically become immortal. Number 10, nanotechnology. Nanotechnology, of course, is talking about uh, the creation and utilization of nano robots. These are tiny microscopic level robots. Uh, which uh, can repair organs to new, including skin, so that your skin would, of course, look brand new. And uh, here's the big reveal. They've already made red blood cell nanobots in rats that they have been using. Number nine, upload brain to robot or the cloud. It's called transhumanism. We first need a computer powerful enough to handle uh, one human. And before you uh, get to thinking that uh, humans aren't so complex, uh, one human is capable of 35 million synapses, I believe, per second. So uh, you do the math of what kind of computer you would actually need. Number eight, cloning. Cloned for organ harvesting to replace your own organs, which will mean you'll have no organ rejection, no organ failure, or anything like that. Uh, they've already cultivated stem cells to uh, technically clone, uh, clone in humans, and uh, they've already fully cloned sheep, cats, and dogs. But you didn't hear that from me, all of you pet owners. Number seven, cyborgs. Think of General Grievous and all the rest, and you have cyborgs, a real live thing that's going on today. And this is uh, either putting a person's organs in a robot so that they are, uh, you know, all, all but the same person, or replacing the arms and limbs, eyes, ears, and such uh, with uh, robotic parts, what we call uh, artificial limbs. Number six, cell therapy. You know, hydras, lobsters, and jellyfish can all revert back to the very earliest stage of aging. They are trying to research how this is possible. Specifically, the jellyfish can literally revert back all the way till it was one years old and redo the whole process over and over again. They're trying to determine and isolate how to have that how that's possible what and what's missing out of our uh, cells that the uh, jellyfish has so you literally have immortal jellyfish running around the oceans uh, number five I'm sure you've heard of cryogenics cryogenics of course is freeing your bo your body uh, right at the instance that you pass they are literally in the hospital or wherever you are right as you pass and so that you are technically not actually dead uh, so all of these frozen people are more vampire than they are human they call them zombies in one of the uh, one of the uh, documentaries that I saw and they literally are in a state in between life and death number four DNA backups uh, the whole idea is to have a full DNA recreation with, of course, then using all of the previous list to bring you back to full body, full everything. Uh, but uh, the whole thing is they're putting your DNA in a library to, to make sure that you have a DNA. Uh, in Britain, there is a museum with a display uh, that a, uh, one of the science science artists came up with collecting random DNA all over the city and then recreating the faces of the people that she collected through their DNA and the pictures of the people. Uh, tell me, do you think uh, you would like to see walk through the museum and see your face sitting on the wall? Number three, altered perception. Now, 
this is only uh, being immortal in a technical sense of the word. What are we talking about? So, we're talking about that through uh, chemical substances that you would ingest and it would expand time only to your perception so that uh, they're trying to get it so that one I'm sure you've seen this in in cartoons anime movies so that you can live an entire lifetime in one second uh, in uh, inception inception was like that. remember they spent an entire lifetime together in the deep deep uh, third tier inception uh, when in fact only a couple of seconds had actually passed so this whole notion has already been presented to you all and this is what this is talking about it's called al altered perception it slows down time just for you number two stem cells i don't believe that uh, in the altered perception that uh, you you move around fast or anything like that it's just that your perception of time slows drastically down i don't think you accomplish anything so i don't think it's uh, technically immortality uh anyway number two stem cells the one that i'm sure you all have been waiting for uh what they have tried to do and they are doing a study already is collecting people uh you know and halting uh, the the decay of the people and trying to bring them back through the injection of stem cells from that person into the various parts that have been injured or whatever right so for so say for instance somebody was in an accident they recover they recover the body and then they inject the various parts to uh, heal any uh, physical damage so that it it comes out to be a brand new whatever now you would think uh well that that's impossible but of course uh, uh they are already doing the trials and they're going to have the findings of those trials pretty soon number one injecting yourself with telomerase now everybody in i'm sorry every cell in your body replaces itself every seven years how does it actually do that uh, it actually divides splits in half and uh, the new cell is then replaces the old cell however there's a drawback and this is this is uh, what they term the aging process when they divide it breaks off the DNA uh, uh, su such that the DNA is, you know, DNA is a super long strand and supposedly it uh, it's, uh, extends from here all the way to Timbuktu, Africa. Uh, and uh, over the course of time, uh, it knocks off the very tips, ends of uh, the DNA. And, and as it divides, 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 it gets down to very tiny and... Uh, when you get to the end of it, you can no longer produce a brand new cell, right? Uh, if you uh, don't eat eat right, it chunks off, you know, uh, big, large portions of the DNA. Well, telomeres can be injected into one uh, to uh, enlarge that DNA so that the process starts all over again well so that was the theory right so one scientist is already injecting herself with telomerase and we're going to wait uh, her study however there's already studies that have uh, been conducted on mice injecting the mice with telomerase and they've had astounding results what are these results uh, the mice not only slowed down their aging process remember i said the breaking down of the dna is the aging process not only did it slow down the aging process so that such that the dna uh, actually started over 
the back to being longer and longer. But the mice actually reversed uh, age to such a degree that they actually were younger for all from every technical aspect of the thing. That's your number one. Is that a good number one? Tell me in the comments below. Leave a like on the video. Please subscribe and make sure you click the notification bell. Thank you all for watching. Would you want to be immortal if it meant that you could revert all the way back to 18? Or even one? That's what it sounds like they're doing. Uh, and it, it seems like the whole um, uh, uploading your brain to the, uh, to the thing isn't quite, isn't quite. Would you want to do that? Would you want to, well, supposedly you would really live forever technically because your, your persona would be remain in the cloud forever. Thank you all for watching.